Hare Krishna. Inner peace. You can cultivate your inner peace. Only you can cultivate your inner peace. And there won't be any inner peace unless you do actually actively cultivate it. First, you just have to understand that you have this power. You have the power to regulate what your mind is focused on, what sensations and feelings you want to give power to, and what sensations and feelings you don't want to give power to. You have this ability. And you have to learn to control this and direct it in such a way as to cultivate ever more inner peace and well-being. It's in your hands. You do actually have this power. For example, there are negative sensations and emotions. Depression, sadness, anger, frustration. And there are positive sensations and emotions. Love, enthusiasm, joy. So you can choose which ones you will cultivate and which ones you will try to reduce. As you try to focus on doing the right thing, on remaining connected, on doing what is best, you naturally cultivate inner peace. When you focus on being a good person, on things that are actually helpful for the soul, you cultivate inner peace. And when you cultivate negative emotions like greed, jealousy, anger, naturally you're going to destroy your inner peace and instead you will be feeling anxiety, anger, depression. So you have this power to not identify with emotions. Emotions aren't you. Thoughts aren't you. You can choose what to have in here. You can choose to not identify with a negative emotion. You can choose to not give power to a unhealthy sensation such as jealousy or anger or envy. You have this power to say, you know what, I'm feeling a little jealous now. But that's really not what I want to do. That's just really not me. I don't want that. I don't want to feel that. I don't want to feel that. Remove your... Just, that's not what you want. Well, let's see what I have now. Let's change jealousy to gratitude. Let me use the tools of gratitude, of positivity. Let me just connect myself with God. Let me just think about what's going on, what's really important. Let me think what I have to do, what my essence is, what my real nature is. Let me focus on the real things, the good things, and not focus on this negative sensation I'm having of jealousy, of anger, of depression. You can choose that you have this power and you can start doing this right away and you have to constantly, like a gardener, constantly be careful, be aware of what you have inside you and carefully remove the weeds of unpleasant, unnecessary sensations which aren't you, which do not express the real you. The reason why they're bad, the reason why we say jealousy and anger and envy and greed and lust are bad is because they're just not you. They're not your essence. They're expressions of a mistake, of an illusion. They're not the real you. And that's why you never feel good cultivating them. While as positivity, gratitude, connection, service, love, these things are the real you. These are expressions of the real you, of your soul. And that's why you feel good when you cultivate them. So this process just isn't a feel-good process. It really is part of this self-realization, part of your encounter with your real self, with finding out the real you. Hare Krishna.